Hi. Um, it's going to be quite fluid, this, because um, this is... Um, this concept has is, is just been developed since Christmas and, um, and we're still developing it. So if you see a little flaw or something in there that you think that's not quite right or how does that work, just keep it to the end and, and it'd be really great. Any input is, is, is really, really appreciated on this. So this is not a presentation of going, I'm going to tell you how to do this. This is a presentation of here's something that we can all work together on. Um, uh, I suppose a little bit of background is um, I, I work in branding and marketing um, and I did the, um, the Valley of Lights project which was a, a thing that was commissioned by Calderdale Council so we, I, I started that and ran that with uh, a couple of friends um, and the Totally Locally thing which is sort of um, this, is what this is loosely based a lot upon uh, how, um, which has gone over the world um, and that is a resource where people can use things to help themselves to actually create a better economy. So this is all about creating better economies. And can you hear me okay? Because I talk quite quietly. So shout, shout if you can't. Um, so this is its first outing, so it's going to be quite interesting, really. Um, as you can see, we'll, I'll, I'll read through it. Um, after the floods have receded, after the volunteers have gone back to normal life, after the appeals have reached their targets, after the news reports have faded after businesses get back to normal. How do we build something that for the next time it happens, because it will, and it could be five years, it could be next week, it could be <coughs> 10 years, it could be three years. How do we build something that creates a pot so at any point, rather than waiting for the amazing amount of money that came in, how do we build it so that we can go straight into that pot um, and it's a bit like the Bernie Sanders thing, I think. There's lots and lots of $27 that he's had for his um, campaign in, rather than big pots of a million. So um, we came up with Watermark, Watermark Calderdale, and it's to, uh, to mark the point where the flood waters peaked, to celebrate the spirit of the people and the towns in, in the time of flooding, and to protect our communities for the future. Um, it's, ba I'll, I'll, it's based on, um, I think if it's worth looking up later, um, Bundaberg Rum in Queensland after the floods in Queensland, which were the size, size of the area of France, which is quite astounding. But there's only about 20,000 people in that area. But um, th it was complete devastation. And Bundaberg Rum decided to do um, a, a one-off rum called Watermark. And all the proceeds went to it. And it raised millions and millions of pounds. And they did gigs off the back of it. And I contacted them and said, uh, could we use it and expand on it? And they said yes. So it's quite a nice thing. So, oh, yeah. So basically, Watermark is a free-to-use brand that you can add to anything that you sell. Um, and the Watermark brand, uh, Calderdale brand says, we support our community in the fighting against floods. So it's going to be uh, a kit that you can use, a bit like the totally locally idea again. Um, and so it can. So, as a business, you can nominate a product that you want to have under that banner. So it can be a product you make, like a beer, a lamp, a book, or something that you sell, like a coffee and cake special in your cafe, or a leather bag, or anything. It can be, a one, it can be one product for your business, or as many products as you like. Um, it can be a special offer at a printer's. Um, so for like 500 flyers, and five pound of it goes to our watermark. So this is our special, this is our special offer. Um, or it can be an artisan lamp or a course at a rock climbing centre. And I'm, I've used those because they're quite varied, but that's, they've already been offered. Um, so uh, the people are on board already. Um, and or it could even be a huge project like, um, like a building services. And we have, that's another thing that's happened as well. Um, a, a really big construction company said we'd like to get involved, which all of a sudden goes from lots of 10Ps to some a lot bigger amounts of money. So it's, it's, it can be something that, like a special edition sausage from the butchers or electrician who says every house I rewire, I'll give £10 and it comes under the watermark thing. Uh, and the other thing as well is the gig, a gig or an event or a comedy event. And it's all about um, making it simple for people to understand what money's going to be used for rather than, as somebody said, um, it's an event, it's, what's it in aid of? It took flood. <laughs> So it's like trying to, trying to go from that. So the idea is to create stuff like this. So we're going to create some merchandise, but you can also add 
it to yourself. I talked to uh, Marcus at Yorkshire South Poly. I was cleaning a drain out the other day. Um, and, he, and I just told him it quickly. And he said, yeah, we'll do a product straight off. So they're going to do a, a watermark soap that they sell. And a percentage or all of the, um, the profit goes into this, little, to this fund. Um, you can stick it on a book. That one's mine. Or you could create a beer. Um, apologies to Hebden Brewery if they're here. I just used your logo. But, but I'll be, we'll be after you. <laughs> <laughs> or you could stick it on your menu. So the idea we'll create little stickers and things like that. So you could stick it on your menu and say, our smoothie is that this is a watermark smoothie or something like that. Um, so imagine it this way. So it's a little bit of simple maths. Um, if Calderdale Towns take all this to heart, and we have most business offering a watermark product or service, the PR alone would be huge. And there's already, I think, I think the Mail on Sunday is already quite keen on, on running something. But it, it, it's, about some, it's about communities doing something for themselves rather than handouts. So, but if only half the business flooded in 20, 2015 sold a watermark product or service, and they only paid £10 a week in, which is, can be a small amount, um, after a year, the pot would be worth 312,000 quid. But then, imagine if all the businesses that were flooded did that. So we're up to 600,000. I like a bit of maths like this. And then, then imagine if businesses that weren't flooded also put into it as well. And then if you added the concerts and the school, like the, some of the schools did a non-uniform day and it was a pound each. So if, you, if we did it under this, guys... And it runs for three, three years. All of a sudden, there's quite a substantial amount of money there. And it, so it, there's pots of small dripping. We're, go, we're going to have a bell, by the way, of any, <laughs> any flood-related things. So dripping in or um, yeah, flooding and things like that, yeah. But just like a drip feed of, of into a fund. Um, so yeah, so the, the figures could be quite huge. Um, so why is it different than people just giving? Because it's not charity. This is people choosing to buy something, something that would often have bought anyway, um, but they just choose to buy a different version and one that benefits our communities. I know um, Love Bread in Brighouse, they, I, I didn't know this, but they do a lavender loaf, which is when people buy it, the money goes into um, the Forget Me Not Trust. So, so it's, you know, it's been done on, as a one-off one type of thing, but the idea of this is to try and get everybody working together to do it. So first thing first, obviously, I'm, I'm writing this from the point I was saying earlier. I'm writing this from the point of view of a grumpy bloke who's fictional, but he lives in Hebden Bridge, and he's an intellectual, and he sits there going, ah, but, and, and he's on Hebweb, and, he, and, he's, <laughs> and he's doing all these things. And I don't know who he is. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But you, but you, you know what I mean? So I'm trying to, I'm trying to basically go, what, what's he going to ask me? Or what's he going to say? Or what's, uh, how's he going to pick a fault? So we're basically, well, won't it affect your profits? So it's up to you how much you donate from the product or service that you choose. So it can be 10p or it can be £10 or it can be 50 quid. It's up to you. If you decide to run with it, you can use it as good PR for your business and it'll be featured on this website and the press releases and promotional material. And it'll be, but it'll be show, most of all, it'll be showing your customers that you care and your suppliers and your partners and that's worth quite a lot. Um, you could choose an opt-out scheme as well. I know with, um, we did the, the, the Totally Locally Cafe in uh, Dean Clough. There's, there's Pete and the guys there. They do a, an opt-out um, coffee. So when you, you, every time you buy a coffee, it's 10p. It goes to feed a child in, in Brazil. But you can opt out of that. If you don't want to pay that, you can just get your coffee. And that's fine. Nobody does. But there you go. So, um, or you cannot, and it's very unlikely they will opt out, so I, I won't go through that. But basically, who's behind it? It's, it's when I say totally locally, it's me and my friend Mark, um, and, um, and then Community Foundation as well. So, there's, there's a lot of stuff that's gone on, it, and it's trying to put the combination of the two, what works, you know, what Community Foundation are really good at and what we're good at. And the current appeal that, that the Community Foundation of what, what's it, what is it today? 2.4 million, which is amazing, isn't it? When you still think it's only a few weeks ago that it all happened. So it's, it's basically going to be um, between, you know, a, a collaboration between us and, and of course, you, because none of this is going to work without people getting behind it. So why is it needed? And this is lo us looking after ourselves and looking after each other as well, 
keep going back to this, it's not just about you or your business or me or, or anybody. This is about everybody working together. Um, giving may not be there next time. You know, if it, if it happened again in six months' time and there's another appeal going out, it's very unlikely that we're going to get two million, isn't it? So this is about longevity. Um, and, and one of the things as well, why is it needed? The government's flood re-initiative has developed household has been developed to help households built before 2009 in case of future flooding it but it doesn't help businesses and it doesn't help households that were built after that so there's a big hole there um who polices it that's my favorite bit nobody nobody polices it nobody checks up on people you keep a track of your sales or you put money into a tin or use the app that we're hopefully developing i don't know what's out what it's going to be yet but there'll be one and um and you, it's up to you to sort out your money. And when you feel like it, that well, there's enough, you transfer it to a fund via uh, bank transfer or, or PayPal. What if someone's struggling to pay the money they've taken from the Watermark products? Well, that's the whole reason behind this. It's to help struggling business. So if they miss a bit, who's bothered? Because it's their product in the first place anyway. So it's, we, we call it the economics of being nice. It's just letting things happen, you know. So why should your customers care? Because... So this, I'm, I'm knocking this guy in his little house, in his little house somewhere. I'm ticking, ticking him off on at a time here. Why should my customers care? Because we're all in this together. And I didn't want to use that phrase, but the Calderdale's unique because of its landscape and its buildings, but also because of its small businesses. It's why people choose to live and work here. And I've had a few people who have been thinking about buying houses here, going, "I'm having second thoughts because what? I'd move here because of the businesses and because of the shops. And if they're not going to be there." Why should I be moving here? So it's quite, it, it knocks on, it knock on effect to all of us, really. So remove all those small businesses and all of a sudden people stop coming, the shops close for good, the town attracts less investment and all of a sudden our towns become ghost towns. And we're talking not just about Hebden as well, because I keep, you know, because we're here and because I work here and that, it's hard not to think, but it's Todmorden and, and it's Mythamroyd and it's Sorby Bridge to a lesser extent and Elland. Um, but it's, it affects everybody. So this means house prices drop, jobs go. Scary thought. So supporting a venture like this makes sense to everyone, including your customers. Um, and why do it under one name? Why not just do it something for ourselves? And we'll go off to the, um, to the uh, village restaurant in Sober Bridge tonight. There's a big fundraising thing on there tonight. Um, it would be worth going if anyone's going. But that's under... I th they've used, they actually used the correct title, haven't they? The com com the, um, that one, yeah. Um, but, you know, as I say, Turt Flood, it's for Turt Flood. So the idea of bringing it under one brand um, makes it easier for people to understand it. It shows a joint thinking and collaborative way of working, and you only have to look at the different events, as we've just been saying. People are confused, and a lot of conversations, it goes, where's this money going? I don't know where it's going. Who's, who's, where's it going there? I've had so many conversations like that. And it helps to market the whole concept as one big package. So Calderdale helps itself. You can help too by looking out for products labelled with Watermark. And the national media and the government officials have already shown really good interest in that. And we've had some good feedback from government as well. So, so what will it pay for? And this, this is still... This is still being made. You've got to understand this. this it was, it's last week we were putting this together. Um, but the, the fund, so funds will be available at a time of flood or emergency grants to businesses, for emergency grants to businesses, community, charitable organisations and households that fit that other criteria to get them through the first stages of any future crisis. And that was a big thing for a lot of people, wasn't it? That Just that first few days. Um, to allow for... Um, it, it will to allow a fund that's immediately open for business. So the se you know the second it happens, instead of waiting for donations to come in and then it's going to be there and it'll be bang, we're off. And as the pot grows, um, Community Foundation will look to invest in an alternative to insurance scheme, which is being developed quite. <laughs> it's there's a lot of red tape and a lot of it's like Simon's heading that up, aren't you? Ish. <laughs> There's a group of people who have got together and looking at a, an alternative way to get insurance for, for businesses that can't be insured, and it's it's, it's and it's on, it's going to be joined into this. That's stage two, which is a little bit more complex than this. Um, 
but so some of this could end up into that fund as well. So, um, which again benefits the businesses and possibly, possibly research as well or projects to prevent flooding in the valley. Um, we, we're talking about a guy who's come up with an idea of um, what flood proof in a, a terrace house and it's so the idea of that funding that research and stuff like that could come from this um, and again it would be certain people that would choose that one um, so when the pot grows there'll be a meeting and representatives from from each area and uh, sorry I've just repeated that we're only doing this today so if called all floods again the, med the money is immediately released to help people so who gets a payout of the flood? There'll be a criteria to meet, but it'll be a fairly simple. Is your business or organisation affected by the floods? Or has your uninsured house been hit by the floods? Yes, here's the money. If you're not flooded, but your business is affected by others around you being flooded, and that happened here a lot, didn't it? There's a lot of the shops that weren't hurt, but have had a massive drop in footfall. Um, you can claim too. So criteria will be monitored by these people here. Um, so what happens to the money? You've, you've seen how, how well it's been handled and, and looked after. Um, so it's, it's be the same process, is that correct, isn't it? I'm assuming this. No, it is. We have talked. And um, it will be kicked out with a percentage from the Boxing Day floods appeal. So that will be dropped into the account to start it all going. Um, and why is it needed? We need to help ourselves. That giving, as we said before, it was, it was unprecedented giving. It, it, prob it probably wouldn't happen again. If it happened in five years' time, maybe, but you know, we, need to, we need to help ourselves. We need to build a significant pot of money for the future. That's some of the stuff that's going to be in it, going to be in it. We're on with designing that this week. Um, again, if you, if you look at the Totally Locally website, you can go on there, and there's loads of free downloads and stuff, and it's going to be a similar thing. It, it, it works. It works very well. Um, but there will also be stickers and things where you can pick up at certain points um, and merchandise and posters and uh, things like that. So basically, that's it. Um, and it's quite interesting myself because <laughs> reading it back. <laughs> um, so community-led campaign to get the country listening to and talking about Calderdale joined up idea to say our business communities are helping themselves, which is really important, by doing something innovative. And... All people need to do is buy something from them and the bottom bit, our towns are open as well and it's all a big thing about that. So, sorry that's a bit random, but um, any questions, please fire away. <laughs>